All right, let's take a break from the national news and bring it back to a QC landmark. For more than a century, the Hallberg Estate has stood in Rock Island as a cultural and architectural icon. Once the home of lumber heiress Suzanne Denkman and her husband, John Hallberg, it's now listed on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places. The Hallberg children donated the mansion to the city of Rock Island in 1956, and then in 2016, the nonprofit Friends of the Hallberg Civic Center Foundation was created to oversee its preservation and sustainability. And now it hosts events all year long, including a bunch coming up this fall. So joining us now to discuss this is Deb Kunsi, Executive Director of the Hallberg Estate. Deb, thank you so much for being here with us. Oh, thank you for inviting me. All right, since today is Friday, why don't we start with the weekly Friday night events happening at the Hallberg? What you got? Well, uh, we are open from 1 to 8 every Friday. Um, we have mansion tours at 3 o'clock, and the gift shop's open, and the Hallberg Carriage House Bar is open. So it's a, it's a busy place. <laughs> I can imagine. And it I is. also understand you've got just a ton of weddings this September, but how about a history event you've also got happening next month? We do, we have, we have a history, uh, we do a history series. So in September, we have Michael McCarty, who's gonna be doing uh, mystery and history of the haunted pod cities um, on uh, September 19th. And then on October 24th, we've got Jeff Adamson, who's doing his uh, Twisted Tales, which is always um, a very, um, packed event. Uh, we had standing room only last year when he did it. So we had it in the carriage house. So we'll probably have both of them in the carriage house this year. Wow. And, and that Twisted Tales event, is that all you got planned for the October when it comes to more spooky ghost stuff? Or do you have something else too? So October 26th, we have our Spirits and Bites, which is a paranormal tour. Uh, we just had one um, in July and it was completely sold out. We actually had a waiting list. That's never happened before. Um, but in October, it's going to be called Return of the Spirits Halloween Edition. So um, we used to we used to do a lot of uh, the Halloween uh, events in the mansion, but we have so many weddings now that we haven't been able to decorate. But it's the last weekend, so we're going to pull some things out and make it fun. All right. You also got an Oktoberfest event. October 12th is our Oktoberfest. Uh, we partner with German American Heritage Center. Um, it's from 12 to 9. Uh, we've got bands all day. Um, we have um, a zither band in the mansion. Uh, polka bands outside. Um, we have tons of authentic food and uh, certainly lots of, lots of German beer. All right, so you've got all sorts of events coming up. This fall, people can find all of those, of course, on the Hallberg Estate website under the events tab. But before I let you go, I understand you are creating an Airbnb at the mansion. How is that going? It's actually on the second floor of the carriage house. So it's going really well. Um, it's We plan to open probably the end of August um, of this month. We just got our sprinkler system in. The air conditioning will be completed next week. We've actually started to um, stage it, which is really fun. Um, and tomorrow, we're moving in the 1950s stove and a 1920s refrigerator that has to be lifted by a lift and put in through the windows on the loggia, which is kind of an outdoor porch, only it's covered. Um, and so, um, yeah, that should be an exciting event. Um, it, it's, it's, uh, we can't, we can't put it up either staircase because they're too big. So yeah, it's, it's, um, it's gonna, it's gonna be a challenge, but we have, as, as usual, we have a lot of volunteers that offer to help and it'll, it'll be good. Oh, we'll and that'll we'll be out well. Yeah, I was just going to say, it'll be so nice once you have it all done. Deb, um, I can't thank you enough for your time today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.